Hey guys, so today's first attempt was actually a suggestion given to me by a person named Nicole. I'm not going to say her last name, just kind of protect her, but she uh, actually had a different look on this than what I went for. Um, she had the idea to make a kind of cauldron uh, chapstick, but unfortunately I couldn't find a chapstick in a barrel that... Um, like I just couldn't find it at all and then I couldn't find one that I liked. So I just went ahead and modified her suggestion and just made a polymer clay cauldron. So I hope you guys like this first attempt at this cauldron and let's go ahead and see how I made it. So I pretty much used my black and a neon green polymer clay. It did take a while for me to get the cauldron part to where I liked it only because I had to play around to get the clay soft for a while because I hadn't worked with this black before. And then it was just kind of trying to get it to the shape that I liked it and that cauldron uh, feel to the shape that I liked. So I made sure to flatten down both sides so it's kind of like that chubby donut feel again. So I made sure to flatten down both sides and roll it into kind of like a barrel type shape but I wanted the top to be flat enough so that I had enough surface for the liquid that would be inside. So you can see here where I play around with it for quite a, quite a bit until I get it to the way I like it. And like I said, I just, I couldn't get it to the way I liked it, so I played around with it a lot. So then I took more of that clay to make the sides and I rolled it out until it was at the thickness that I liked and then rolled it into a circle and I tried to blend that edge in as best as I could but it's not that big a deal that I didn't get it to blend as much because I just kind of used that as the little piece that goes over for the um for the holding onto those things and I apologize that the lighting changed but my camera unfortunately died on me like halfway through doing this so I had to recharge it and then start again so now that I had those handles on I had to take a uh, small small pieces of black to pretty much attach those handles and I just basically rolled them into little short strings and then flattened it a little bit and then I used my tool to kind of blend it in so that it looked like it was attached to the cauldron. And then I just repeated the process on the other side so that now my little cauldron has little handles that are attached to the side of it. So then I went ahead and cleaned off my project for what I had right then and there. And I also used this to help blend in those edges a little bit more. I just find that that kind of helps while I do it. So I cleaned up what I had on my project so far and as you can see I'm being very careful about doing this because I want to make sure that I don't mess up what I just cleaned up. So then I took uh, my little neon green and I took a little bit of that off after of course getting it you know all nice and melded out the way I liked it. So I took a little bit of that off and I rolled it into a ball and I flattened it out and then I had some issues cutting it off of my surface. So I kind of played around with this for quite a bit and then I just ended up doing it by hand where I made it to the thickness and I made it fill that circle in as much as I could. And then I took another piece of black and I rolled it into another snake and I used that to kind of pull the edges of my little cauldron here and then I blended those pieces in together and I used that q-tip again to help blend those pieces because I find that seems to help me out quite a bit. I'm still having some issues with blending uh, circle pieces together. I tend to make it more flat than it should be. So I'm still kind of working on that part, but it's all a learning process when you make it. So then I took more of that green and I made little circles because I wanted it to look like a bubbling cauldron. So I made little circles and I put those on the inside just to make it kind of have that look like it's a bubbling cauldron. So it's not just like sitting there. So then I went ahead and I cleaned up my piece again uh, just to make sure that that stuff that I added was nice and clean, didn't have any lint in it. And once I did that, I pretty much was ready to bake it. So now that I had that all clean, I went ahead and I put in my eye pin and I put it off to the side. I didn't want it exactly in the middle just to kind of make it look a little bit more in depth. 
So I put it in the oven and baked it at 275 for 15 minutes per my instructions. So once it was all baked and cooled down, it's ready for me to glaze. So I put it on my paper clip and I held it with my needle nose pliers and I started glazing it. Now I found out through glazing this that I have to kind of be careful with putting too much glaze, especially on the inside of those handles because it tends to gloop up as it dries. Uh, so I did have a little bit of issue with that, but once again, it's all a learning process and this is my first time trying this. So hopefully it's not too, too bad for you guys. So I glazed it once and then I let it dry and then I glazed it a second time. So you can see here where I'm trying to be very careful around those little bubbling balls just to make sure that they all get glazed. And I tried scooping out some of the glaze from those handles, but that's how it looked for the first time. So here's how it turned out when I was done with it. I'm actually really proud of how this piece came out. Obviously it does leave room for improvement, but this is why I'm trying to do all of these and I'm not, you know, saying this is how you do it. So I want to thank Nicole for giving this me this suggestion. She kind of had this great suggestion. Like I said, I had to modify it a little bit because I couldn't find exactly what she has suggested, those little barrels of lip gloss. But for now, this will work, and maybe next year I will find a little barrel of lip gloss that I can use to go with exactly what suggestion she came up with. So I just want to thank her for that, and I hope you guys enjoyed this first attempt at making this bubbling cauldron. Leave me a comment down below if there's any kind of special stuff you want to see me do for first attempts for Christmas with polymer clay, and let me know what you think about this. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this. Also, make sure to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter so you can see all the fun stuff that I'm doing in between my videos. And of course, have a wonderful day and I will see you guys soon. Bye.